welcome back. This is Shauna with Making Everyday Magic and today we have our box of awesome from Tepperdoodle. So this is the day that my kids have been waiting for. I am finally unboxing our curriculum for the 2020-2021 school year from Tepperdoodle. Just a little bit about Tepperdoodle as a company. They've been around 35 years. They don't actually publish any kind of curriculum. What they do is they curate and they choose what they think is the best to put into their kits. And they've done this for 35 years. They have several different levels of kit, meaning, all right, let me open this up. You can get basic, which is just exactly what you need to have a great year. Complete, which is a little more. The elite, which is all of the bells and whistles. They have kits both in classic because they started as faith-based company. They are a faith-based company. So they have their classic religious kits or their non-religious kits that usually have a little bit of a different history or science curriculum. Um, so they have secular and non-secular options, which is great for us. Finding secular homeschooling resources is actually quite hard. So I appreciate that they've done a lot of that work for me. We started using their curriculum last year, so we've used it one year. It was so great, we knew for a fact we definitely wanted to do it a year, do it again this year. One of the things that's great is you can sub in or out any of the pieces that you would like to. So if we're ahead in math, we can go up a year. If we want to totally take something out, we can do that. We have the option. So this year we're going to use the third grade and the pre-K kits. This will be the unboxing of our third grade kit. Uh, some of the things that they do, they focus on the child learning independently, teaching them to go on their own more and more, a little bit at a time. They focus on all the ways that children learn. They're very hands-on, a high focus on STEM and art, which I appreciate. And they give you points if you order. Uh, so your money spent earns you points that you can use later to get more things. The pieces that they put in there are not something I probably would have found on my own. They're not something I would have bought on my own, but now having experienced them, I've bought some of these pieces to literally give away as gifts uh, because they're so bright. So every year they put out their new catalog because they reevaluate every piece every year to make sure they're still doing the best job that they can do in putting these kits together. So every year I get so excited to have their, uh, the curriculum catalog come. So this is gold. Let's get to unboxing. I don't know if you can see this, but there's actually 59 pounds of third grade in here. I appreciate that their boxes are so cutely decorated because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take out third grade, put it into our schooling area, and then fill it back up with second grade so that we can keep that tucked away nicely. There's actually a lot of components in second grade that we'll be able to use again when my little gets to that age. See if I can get through the tape here. Safety. my highlighter so I can be sure and check things off as I fill them out. Look at this. There are doodles all over the box. There's great things for them to play with, to do, to fill out. <gasps> Another. Oh, here's some fun little things to do. Mind benders. Oh, tacky list. Well, I didn't think about this. Whew. Now, I don't know if you can see into this box. I am so excited about the stuff that is in this kit. Let's see, free catalog, yep. Here we go. Oh, one of the other things that they do is if you spend a certain amount of money, um, you can choose a free gift, which is always great because free gift. Put our packing material in here, Whew. Lord. I don't even know where to start. Let's see. Oh, here, let's start right here. We have Hey Clay. It's special modeling clay uh, that kiddos can use to make little bugs. It gives you ideas on how to use them and it comes with an app so you can play with them. Got that. Ooh, one of the things that she's most excited about is 
slime because it's slime. Oh, this year is the first for us is most Mazdos Opal Bubble. So this is language arts, I am guessing. Mazdos, most of I'm not sure. But in the past, we, or last year, we used all that reading very hands-on and it was super great. My understanding is that this is more uh, literature based. So we'll see how that goes with us. But the good thing about Timber Doodle is if we don't like it, we can just get something else. We can change it. We can do what works best for our kiddo. I'm gonna have so much trash back here. Ooh, Robin Hood graphic novel. She's very excited about this. She loves Robin Hood. All color, super entertaining, fun to read. That is exciting. Let me see. Let's see. Ooh, another graphic novel. True Stories of the Revolutionary War. Super exciting. Let's see. Oh, Spelling UC Level D Americana Edition. We use this for second grade for the first time. It is an entirely different way of doing spelling than I've ever seen. I'm used to the, you learn 10 words, you do a test at the end of the week, you memorize them. This teaches kids the pieces of the words, how letters commonly go together, and she's been able to retain that information so much better. Ooh, let's see. Oh, this is the teacher's edition. I love that it's spiral bound. Last year I had several things spiral bound and they just didn't work as well, so I appreciate that it came that way. Tons of information on how to use this program, which is really exciting. I'll have to definitely get more in depth into this. Two teacher's editions, let's see. Ooh, Zen Tangles for Kids. Like I said, Timberdale Doodle focuses a lot on art and other ways of thinking, and this is so fun. Oh, it's different ways to pattern fill. That's fantastic. Sure, she will love it. Dolphins, bears, all those good, good girl things here. Ooh, curriculum handbook. These are amazing. Uh, this is the only thing I think that Temper Doodle actually puts together themselves. And what it does is it tells you how to use their kits. Frequently asked questions, um, how many lessons are in each one of these things to help you best schedule uh, because it's important to hold yourself accountable. Something else that they include in here is a reading list. So instead of telling you exactly what you read and you struggling to find all the books, which we've done in the past, it'll say read a biography. So then they can choose someone that they're interested in to read a biography. Check that off the list. I think it has different levels. If you complete like 100 or 150 books, you get like a different like term like you know beginner or advanced things like that so that's fantastic to have um something that goes along with this is online you get an access code to plug in your kit materials and it's an online scheduler and i have a copy of that that we used from last year uh, so this was our second grade and it plugs in every piece that we get and it tells you how many lessons how many things they should do a week based on how many weeks of school you want to do where your breaks are where your holidays are and then it prints off one of these where you can literally the kids can just check off the boxes and this is what they need to do in a whole week very, very manageable amount of schoolwork and they can do this, this tracking themselves so they can visually see what they need to do and how they can best keep up with it. So the online scheduler goes hand in hand with the curriculum handbook, which just gives you tons of ideas. I'm sure it has ideas for like the putty and other things to keep up with. I'm very excited to have this and to look over it. Oh, here's some more language arts. Let's see. workbook here for our literature. Oh nice, she can write right in the book, fill it in. Looks great. Ooh, cutouts, she's gonna love that. Ooh, geography, we used uh, level two last year. It had a mix of cutout, fill in the blank, puzzles, reads. This is something she enjoyed very much. And it's simple enough, because I think it was like four pages a week. It's easy enough to do. Looks like it follows that same formula, so great. This is new, critical and creative thinking activities. So this I think takes the place this year, I think, of the building thinking skills, which we quite enjoyed. So it's daily higher order thinking. 
And this looks like, okay, creative, critical and creative thinking activities. This is by the same group that did our daily writing traits, which I think we have as well for third grade. Little puzzles, little things to start stretching their brain in different ways, having them problem solve and use their thinking in a different manner. First language lessons, this is also new. Oh, same company. Daily writing, it's uh, one little page a day with a writing prompt for the end of the week. Focuses on uh, different writing traits. First language lessons. Oh, looks like it's just simple exercises to get them working. Ooh, sentence dia diagram, diagraph, diagram, sentence diagram, that sounds right. Dictation. Level three workbook. Oh, this must be, oh, yep, this is the teacher. So answer key, it tells you exactly what to say and exactly what to do so you're not guessing. You do not have to be a teacher to homeschool your children. You just have to find what works for you. Oh, I'm getting quite the pile over here. Let's see, there's some more books. Ooh, looks like the Moses Readers. know how to spell if she knows what commonly goes together she's retained her spelling so much better as a result versus just memorizing really excited about these because they are paint by number um, museum series so these are things that she has seen in museums so I know that she is just gonna be so excited to do them but they're paint by number, famous works of art. Ooh, Moby, this is a math game. Um, it's kind of like Scrabble, but with math. And so I'm excited about that because anything that's gonna help them get that kind of sharp snap of math is fantastic. An extra time. Math. Now, something that we were able to do, again, talking about the custom kits with Timberdoodle, is we used Math UC for second grade, so we have the big box of integers. We didn't need that again. So we were able to literally just order the course without having to, to pay the extra for something we didn't need, which was fantastic. So it has, um, this is the gamma level, so it's focusing on single and multiple dish, in, uh, multiple digit multiplication. Uh, there's a book that's the student workbook, the test book, so it's full of tests. There's the teacher's manual there, and then it comes with a DVD of the people giving the lesson, so I can just supplement instead of being solely responsible for her understanding of that. And the people there are using the exact same uh, integers that are in the box, so it's fantastic. Because they were all made by the same company, 
So it's great for her to be able to see them using the same thing she's using and there's not confusion. Anomia. I don't fully understand yet, but it looks exciting. It's a game that we should be able to play uh, together as a family where you say words based on the picture of the animal that start with like the same sound or letter. I'm gonna hold off on that, I don't know. Ooh, scratch coding cards. Um, the official scratch coding cards. Create a catch game, an interactive story, a dance animation, and more. So you scratch things off in a particular order and it tells a story or does things. I don't know, we're gonna get there. really well for us. Um, so we didn't actually have to do that. So we were able to take that right on out of this kit. Uh, but typing, she's super excited about. My husband is very excited about this. You learn a little bit of drafting. It'll probably come in handy eventually in life. Like my husband is an architect, loves this. Story of the world. We loved story of the world this past year. It's the first and only time we've ever used it. She listens to the CD on her bowl a little pink boom box or we take it with us in the car and she reads along and she has retained that super well uh, we omitted and did not get the large activity book that tells you all kinds of things to do because we just we didn't really use it last year so we were able to take it out and save a little bit of money doodle adventures the search for the slimy space slugs this you fill in, you read the story, and you add your own little doodles to complete the story. Another fun little thing. Famous figures of the early modern era. These are paper dolls. You can choose pre-colored or not colored. Cut them out, grab them together. She loves these. And then it coincides with who she's learning about in Story of the World. She loves this. Let's see. Ooh, word roots. I'm really excited about this. Uh, because it's planting that seed of figuring out what words are or mean based on the Latin root word. So these are things that I don't think enough people know anymore. So this is grade three test prep. Um, last year it was spectrum test prep and I, they've switched it. I didn't care for that. We didn't use it. It looks intimidating um, for me, especially for them. Uh, this looks much less scary, much less overwhelming. Um, it's colored, it's great, it uh, looks like a lot less information, so we might actually try to use this this year. Get her ready for some standardized testing, which she will have to do at any point. Um, Texas doesn't have requirements for that every year or even to check progress, but I mean, you know, SATs, AP exams, college, she'll have to do it, so she'll need to know how to do it. Dr. Bonified, so we actually skipped science in this kit. And that's because we used building blocks of science for grade two and we just didn't love it. It's not bad, it just wasn't necessarily the best fit. And so we're gonna look around and see if we can find something that maybe allows us to do science as a family, something a little different. So we just skipped it. But I felt that this book looked awesome and so we definitely wanted to keep it in. So Dr. Bonified presents Bones of the Hand, Arm, and Shoulder. And I think they go through the whole body, eventually like different series of books. Uh, and this just looks fun. So she can learn this and enjoy it and we can put this as part of our science lessons. Oh, it's got 3D goggles, fun. Um, so I think she'll love this. Glad we left it in. Extreme dot to dot. This is some of those things that don't come in the uh, in the basic kit and that's, that's okay, we enjoy getting the Elite Kit because we like all the extras. It keeps her entertained, it varies it up. It, she gets really excited that this box showed up on our door. She couldn't wait to open it. Um, extreme dodge dots. Fun, art, use your brain. Look at that, that looks crazy. Um, I might have to steal one of these to do it. Let's see, only a couple things left. 
circuit maze. They create a circuit. There are cards telling them what to do and they have to, um, I think it takes batteries and actually lights up. So they'll have to, she'll have to figure out how to do this. Again, STEM, thinking, brain power. Let's do this. Grab oh. tracks. It is essentially a big old mouse trap. Add marbles, marble run, and then it's got this um, zip line expansion thing. So she'll, I'm sure, set this up and be so excited. I bet this doesn't even make it until actual school year time. That's the deal. Some of this is so exciting. She can't wait to play with it. Uh, play with it. She's learning, but she's playing with it. And these are things that if I saw this, I would buy this for my nephew. Um, it's just not something I have the experience or exposure to, but once I see it, it's so exciting and it's so fun while being a great educational gift. And they tend to be really individually reasonably priced and a great buy. Last thing in the box. It's Ravensburger 3D Globe Puzzle. She is so excited about this. She's gonna put it together, I'm sure in like three minutes and just enjoy it. Her sister has a lot of globes as decorations in her room, so she's super excited to get one of her own. Okay, so this pile is our third grade, 2020-2021 Timberdoodle curriculum kit. We're so excited. We're gonna have to bust all this stuff open probably sooner than we should, but it's exciting. Um, hopefully at the end of this year, I'll be able to give you a review of how some of these things went. Some of them are very new to me. I'm not familiar with what they are at all, but hopefully it goes really well. Oh, one of the things that I did want to say is that the kit on Timberdoodle included a multiplication wrap up. I don't know if you remember these. I remember them from grade school for me, uh, but they're like little keys and they tell you different facts, but you wrap the, the string around it um, and it tells you how it should go on the back. But I thought it was such a great idea. Instead of just getting the one in the kit, I logged onto Amazon, got the set of all five, and they come with audio CDs of math wraps, which are awesome. Uh, so I went ahead and got this whole thing because I figured the little one can use it, the big one can use it. It's fun to have, fun game to play, but one of these would have also been in this kit. So that is the unboxing of our grade three Timberdoodle curriculum kit for 2020, 2021. If you found any of this informative or helpful, if you have any questions about homeschooling, about Timberdoodle, feel free to reach out to the company. I'll leave the link below in the description. If you found any of this fun, entertaining, if you wanna see more, if you have homeschool questions, because this is the spring of 2020 and everyone does. I think there's a lot of people who are gonna be making the switch because now they know they can. Without ever having been forced to do it, they may not have, but it's really easy. You don't have to know everything as you saw in some of this, it will spell it out for you. There are so many resources available these days, secular, non-secular, however you wanna do it. Like I said, Timberdoodle lets you mix and match, keep, take, swap, leave it there, don't do it. Um, great use of money. We enjoy their kits so much. They are actually a fun learning time. So if you found anything helpful or informative, click the subscribe button below and come back next time when we'll be unboxing our pre-K curriculum.